answers are inside Yeah, I am the 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time Come, come, come on everyone, let's celebrate We are the children of the sun I can see you when I look into your eyes We are the same, and we are light, and we are one Here now, hear my ancient prayer and sing along We are awakening as one Hi there, I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman. This is our 21st Century Superhuman show, and today I have with me an amazing person, my friend Timothy Telemond. Hey Tim, how are you today? Thank you, you, Carrie. Today we're going to talk about cleaning up our DNA, and I know a lot of people are very interested in this, and I have had a fun adventure during this past year getting to know you and an amazing herb called Thunder God Vine, and you also have the Thunder God Band. The band? Thundergodband.com, and it's a free album, and we we did it with some help of some really uh, nice people, um, and um, I wrote some lyrics. We put it together, and uh, really, the effort is to bring attention to something uh, that can help people, right? So, yes. um, and uh, so it's basically uh, very simple. It's the same name as the herb. So, Thunder God Vine, Thunder God Band, dot com. Thunder God uh, Band dot com, and we'll put that under the video so yeah. people can. So this has been going on for about three years and a half years now right um and and we were pushing hard to get it done before christmas so we're happy that we got it done a few days oh, before yay. christmas nice right but the, but the idea was to bring attention to a, an herb that let's say um from a relative standpoint uh is is related to frankincense which is wow which is really a biblical gift right because that's what they gave to Right. Uh, the king, uh, yes. we three kings of Orient or bearing gifts from travel afar, right? So yeah. So, right, myrrh and gold, right? Yes. So, and you talk about those elements a little bit. Uh, many yes. Many people do. Yes. But um, the idea is that, I mean, we didn't know this for thousands of years, but it's HDAC inhibitors. And what these things wow. do. Wow. Uh, right. That's why you're so uh, brilliant about, Tim. I love the H-stack inhibitors, and we're going to have to explain that because I'm sure people won't know what it is. But tell me really quick, um, you had some really special people help record different portions of your songs. Can you share with us who a few of those people were? Yeah, yeah. Um, Well, um, Matt O'Reilly was one of the gentlemen that was kind enough to lay some uh, really nice uh, guitar tracks down, uh, and he uh, he was on tour with Bon Jovi last year. and um, the uh, lead guitar player uh, from um, Joan Jett um, did some work on this song called Dr. Joe that uh, uh, was really nice. And Tara Elliott, um, uh, she's uh, semi-famous locally. Um, Brandon Sweeney, um, uh, semi-famous locally. Uh, I'd I say, you know, very popular locally. Uh, 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 guy, uh, a lot of people that are big on the East Coast, um, and uh, this gentleman, uh, Bobby Pantella, um, who uh, basically um, tours Europe constantly, you know, and he owns the studio. Uh, and um, he gave he, he gave a very affordable uh, rate on the studio time and did a lot of the tracks himself, nice. the bass tracks. Very nice. And, um, so it was nice. Yeah, it was real nice. And I had to do it because I kept getting these creative ideas because I'm nice. sitting, I'm taking this, you know, line that's giving me this, you know, like, so I'm, I'm a 51 year, 50, 50 year old guy, but I have this, the, like the creative side coming back of a child and the life experience of 50 years. So you need an outlet, you know? Right. So, so I, I had to write down, you know, some, so I chose to, this is an outlet, a creative outlet. But. Oh, yeah, we're really excited to hear your music. I'm sure it will be awesome. I cannot wait to hear it. So again, it is Thunder God Band. 
www.thepowerofpositivity.com. And we'll put that link under the video. Um, I know that you're somebody that back when you were in school, um, there were people who said to you, hey, we don't know what you're going to do, but you're going to do something amazing. And I think for many of us, it's taken many years to kind of grow into who we really are and kind of get out of the system enough to really get into what we're passionate about. And it was really your health that kind of led you to Thunder God Vine. Is that correct? Um, some of it was, uh, you know, little thing. And I, I know we've talked about this in other videos was that I found a compound that basically stopped astrogelesis, which is what causes spinal injuries not to heal. Okay. And that's really super important for people to know, to know that are paralyzed. Okay. So, um, cause what saved my eye was basically uh, research that was done for people that were paralyzed. Didn't you have some other health conditions as well? as Yes. The yeah, eye? Yes. yes. Uh, so, um, the eye issue uh, started to, okay, when I, when I found an herb that basically halted or reversed astrogelesis, which is a fancy term for inflammation, just so everybody knows, okay, of the spine, okay? Um, let me explain this before I go on to the next thing, Carrie. Okay, so say this is a nerve ending, which actually, it looks like a nerve ending, okay? Never thought of it like this. But, um, okay, so the, the, when you have a skin cell, the, the, the uh, nucleus is in the middle of the cell. Okay. But with the nerve, the nucleus could be here and it makes a repair protein, but it's got to travel all the way down the axon. Okay. And then make a repair here. If there's inflammation in this network, what happens is that there's other guys that are connected to that little delivery uh, motor that will redirect it. So it won't make it to the destination. Okay. And that's basically what astrogelesis is wow so that's amazing protein, yeah, amazing. yeah I know. It's, it's very simple okay yeah. very simple because when you understand that the nervous system can't repair because of virus because of inflammation which is astrogelesis which is just a fancy term to you know that makes people confused okay then it all becomes focused okay it's diabetic i'm no longer having to take the metformin okay thanksgiving my second Thanksgiving just passed. I had stuffing. <laughs> it was great. Um, my blood sugar still stayed fine. I worked the next day. You know, when I was diabetic, if I had anything heavy like that, it was three days out of commission because your sugar would just go so high. It would just take forever for the body to come back into balance. You know, blow up like, you know, forget it. So, um, but now, um, you know, skin doesn't have that inflammation because the lymphatic system isn't draining all these proteins that never made it to their destination here or here in, in, in every case. So what's going on here? We're, we have all these viral, you know, pathogens, okay? But they're not multiplying linearly, okay? Because 10 make 1,000, 1,000 make 1,000, 1,000, you know, because they make thousands at a time, okay? What feeds this? Sugar. That's why we know sugar is bad for us. Okay, but why? This is why. Okay, so what are my ailments? Let's see if this hypothesis again holds water. Okay, we talked about diabetes. Okay, I had diabetic nerve pain that disappeared. I had scars from past um, infections from HPV. Um, those scars, which I never expected to be, you know, gone, um, uh, they're, uh, they're they're completely gone. I I uh, had. Um, I'm, I'm having some hair, you know, regrowth, which is great. Um, but um, what else? I have the, one of the other big ones was uh, Lyme. Uh, I I, uh, I noticed that the Lyme disease, the Lyme was, was uh, it felt like my skin was crawling around 10, 11 o'clock in the morning about that time. Uh, and it stopped. It stopped. Um, and let me back up a little bit. Epstein's bar is related to limes. I had already gotten my Epstein's bar um, records around the seventh month that showed it zeroed out. Okay, so when the Epstein's bar um, level zeroed out, I got a lot of energy. I got my blood work to prove that out. Okay, um, three, two or three months later, um, my immune system was so strong that any pathogen that was, you know. Um, co-infection of limes, the BCA included, couldn't live in my body because now my immune system is, you know, fighting with all, you know, eight cylinders, 
basically. Um, so it wipes this out, okay? So then you have more energy, you know, and less discomfort, you know. Um, now the mind starts getting more clearer, right? Um, your uh, blood brain, brain barrier starts tightening up because now virus isn't constantly trying to pierce it. Now you but tell us how you, I know you spent hours and hours and hours researching at night and, you know, on the computer and you ran across the studies that Christopher Reeve's organization actually backed happening on Thunder Godvine because as you've explained to me, a lot of the information on it is obscure or has been removed because there are those in the world who would like to keep Thunder God Vine for themselves. And we, we know that I'm just going to say that it grows in places where we have perpetuated war and decimation of undergrowth, which is Korea, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Afghanistan. So having that awareness makes us realize, wow, um, this is something valuable. Somebody on the planet realizes it's really valuable, and you happen to stumble into it in your research. And so then you, you found a source and you just started taking it? Or tell us a little bit about how that happened for you. Some, some wonderful person, and God knows who they are, uh, <laughs> was able to get some of this into Malaysia, okay? Um, there's been a lot of 60 minute specials about people in Malaysia drinking this special tea that live for like 100, 120 years old, like, you know, many specials on 60 minutes. Topic. But nobody talks about, you know, what it is. And, um, and in parallel, uh, there's all this NIH research going on that says, well, what if we don't drink it as a tea? What if we really, you know, get this in the blood to a certain level? What happens, you know? What you, um, you mentioned earlier, that what frankincense and which is talked about in ancient texts and thunder god have in common is something called h stack inhibitors h d h d yes hey you tell yeah you tell me what it is i get all mixed up here but um we have to tell us well, what H inhibitors are too but i'm gonna i want to let you go into this but let's just say it from a very layman standpoint that viruses deposit a sticky substance onto our DNA code. And then the body can't really remove that. And so what you're gonna to explain to us that is in both frankincense, and I know frankincense is considered a wonderful healing essential oil, but is also in great quantity in Thunder God Vine. So explain to us what that is so that we can understand the science behind the layman's um, viewpoint of it. Okay. Um. This plant grows above a certain linear altitude, okay? So if we all uh, study the Bible, and I'm not saying from a religious standpoint, but I'm saying as, as, a, as a, a document that explains things to us as a, a record, okay? Um, let's say that this plant survived, you know, um, the flood, okay? And uh, this plant is a three-leaf plant that is the three means something okay 30 60 90 of a circle okay there's a lot of papers a lot that explain the golden ratio of three six and nine and the importance of these numbers and even sounds and music and what it's what's going to be known soon is that sound actually is is a sound actually makes things Okay, and what they're going to learn uh, is that sound actually can create DNA. Okay, but more importantly, though, to answer your question directly, is that the viruses have evolved to allow their to take their part of the DNA and glue um, it together in a way, bond it together. So when it integrates into our DNA, since it's glued together, like donuts stuck together with cream cheese, it's can't, it cannot be read. So that's really horrible, right? Because now we have really a foreign invader that's taken over our cellular engine, okay, causing problems like astrogelesis, okay, which, by the way, affects all of us because all of our nervous system should be extending and growing, okay, 
So our, our growth is stunted right now, okay? The entire human race has, has, uh, is, uh, has stunted growth, okay? Our nervous system is stunted because of the viral loads on our bodies, okay? Wow. Yeah, I know. So, but uh, beautifully, this uh, HDAC inhibitors can break these bonds, okay? So now the body all of a sudden sees the virus, Okay, and then we're not talking about little viruses that you get as a cold. We're talking about double-stranded viruses, because we're double-stranded, okay, that integrate into our DNA, cannot be read, and can take over cellular function and reproduce. Okay, that's the class of viruses that really hurt us, okay? And they can lay in the body for a long time, 10, 20, 30, 40 years, causing these problems, multiplying, multiplying, before people realize, oh, my God, I'm going to die. Okay, that's when they realize it. But this has been going on long, 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 long before. Okay, so um, I think I answered that question right. That was really good, Tim. That was, and and I agree with you. I mean, it's written in my book even that sound is it creates. And I know, um, just a side note. I mean, Hitler implemented. Um, 440 hertz music and as kind of the norm and when 432 is kind of the sound of creation that we really naturally live in i don't know if you even know about that yet but you're absolutely i i, I know intuitively okay? exactly. i've not i've not i've not i've not learned that but i know right. that intuitively and it's funny because everyone picks up a piece of it like yes the monk yeah. the monks go hmm they know they know something okay right. you know um the, the musicians that, that do the music that is Thunder God Band know this intuitively also. People that listen and love music know that it brings us together. But nobody understands all of it together. And I'm going to try right. to do that today. Um, right. I don't know if it's time to bridge into that or... Well, let's just know. hold on one more second because I love your explanation on the HDAC inhibitors and how that really works in the body. So. Tell us a little bit your story of how you started taking Thunder God and how that was for you on a daily basis and how much you you took and because I know you kind of increased to a pretty good dose and um, I'm really excited because you you have capsules now and I want to encourage people yeah to yeah order, I got, I, we just order we, we through just, your website yeah yeah go ahead show yeah. it to us let's oh, see okay um, yeah so this is new it's not on the website or anything but uh, I don't like to move quickly and you know that but um, right. uh, there's a um, there's a I got interrupted there I'm sorry there's a gentleman behind me uh, uh, a vet I could bring him over but we've, we've had we've had people uh, an injured vet that you know parachute injury that's been taking this whole, and a lot of lot of people uh, um, have reported really strong results on it and it's convenient you know whereas the powder um, you know, a lot of people didn't like the way it tasted and, um, you know, so then they started having to mix it with food and then it wasn't convenient as far as that goes. And so finally I broke down and said, okay, you know, uh, let's, let's do this. So yeah. I'm glad you did great, because, yeah. yeah, cause I, I, I have a lot of friends who have been taking it and they love it, but it is very bitter tasting. And so I think, um, and you said that the, the Capsules are actually kind of a concentrate also, right? Yeah. So, yeah, well, we had to do that because, we, you know, we don't want to have people, people that have to take so much, right? So, um, and it's, so it's uh, a 30 to one ratio, which is. That's which amazing. Is great, you know? Yeah. yeah. But, but we didn't, we didn't do it, you know, um, we did it very carefully. So nice. uh, there's something called, um, um, well, there's a toxicity testing that you can go. Okay, and um, basically, um, I don't want to get into all the details, but we went, we actually spent a lot of money to make sure that we were going to, you know, 30 to 1 and that it was, you know, past all the tests. So we did all that good. as well. That's, that's good to know. So, yeah. um, so, again, coming back to how you started taking it and how you began feeling a difference when you took it? Um, I actually, uh, as far as, as far as, you know, my own, my own dosage levels and stuff like that. I do take more, but I don't like to talk about that because, you know, I do it because my DNA is so clean. You got to realize that 
it's like uh, inert gas when you ingest a, an HTAC inhibitor and there's not there's nothing there's no bonds to break because there is no viral code. Okay, so you know for me what I can take okay is going to be different from someone else. So that's why and I've been on it for two and a half years. So that's not really relevant. So, well, what um, I'm asking you about, Tim, is when you started. How was it for you when you started? And how did, how did you, started, what, was the, pro, what I, was the process that you saw a response in your body? How did you see things begin to change? That's sort of what I'm kind of reaching for here. Just, just whatever, just what's written on the bottle as far as the dosage. Um, I started just the same, same way. Um, and what I felt was that my, my, um, my eye was, it, it was wonderful because it wasn't just like taking an aspirin, okay? Because that's a certain feeling where, okay, the pain subsided a little bit. I felt like something was changing. I couldn't put my finger on it. And the reason I couldn't put my finger on it was because you got to realize, backtrack, I didn't know what was happening, okay? I knew a little bit about astrogelosis. I knew a little bit about HVAC, but I didn't, I didn't know what I know today. But I right. intuitively, intuitively, I, I, I felt this is, this is a good thing, okay? I know, I know from my research that it has to, be, has to be correcting some DNA damage that's virally rooted, okay? And I knew, I knew intuitively that even if the doctor can't, t can't biopsy my eye, biopsy my eye and tell me 100% what kind of virus and what's wrong in here, okay, that it has to be something along these lines. Okay, because you got to realize I'm basically doing this without a biopsy too, right? Right. And and but I'm feeling this this uh, this change, and it and and then there was the day I got out of bed and, and the diabetic nerve pain disappeared. Okay, and then that really wow. how long that, into your how long into your course of taking it was that? Very quick. And really, I, I, but I think it's because my di my my diabetic nerve pain had only uh, started about three years earlier so so it didn't have time to really get bad you know so it, so it, it 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 was quick though when that went away, when that went away and it so, went away suddenly it wasn't like a, a like a slow thing like i woke up and i, I was looking for the pain uh, so tim and, we've been talking about viruses how would you relate the diabetes and the diabetic pain to the viral load in your body well we talked about the fact that the nervous system can't repair itself because it's virally infected and the distance that the repair proteins have to travel. Okay. All right. So there's pathways that it has to go through. Okay. And then there's pathways that bridge off of that called actin. It's a very complex process. If there's virus in the system, it can't happen. Okay. Your feet, are only breaking down more than other areas of your body because you're stepping on them all the time. So they need more repair, okay? So that's just the first area that you notice isn't being repaired, and it results in diabetic nerve pain to the feet, okay? But it's, just that it's systemic. It doesn't mean that you're not, from a nervous system perspective, injured syst systemically across the board, okay? And that's why, you know, my mind is just starting to turn on now, okay? Because that was injured as well. So um, anyway, the nervous system, the diabetes, let's talk about, okay, um, the pancreas, right? Okay, so what is the pancreas? It's a cell, okay? All the cells, okay, say so we have trillions of cells, but each one of them has the full DNA strand in it, right? So cell A knows what, say, in the, in, the, in the pancreas has all the code that my cells and my feet have. They all share the same code, but certain cells use that code differently, okay? So it's basically like a guitar player can play any song on that guitar. It depends on what, the, what they call junk DNA, which isn't junk DNA, it's the operating system, tell that DNA to play, okay? And what it does is it plays songs that make proteins. Now, a pancreas has to make uh, insulin proteins, okay? So what happens is if there's viral code in the pancreas and the DNA calls to produce the song that makes insulin and the code is in there that's blocking it and it can't read through, you're not going to get insulin. 
And the more that code multiplies because this viral code within the pancreas, the less insulin you can make until you get to the point where you're at first, you know, uh, slightly diabetic, then you're glucose intolerant, then you're full, then you're full blown diabetic type two. In children, it can happen sooner because they have a less, less developed immune system and it can just, you know, they can be yeah. wildly overrun in a yeah. second. So that's, a, a that's really, yeah, it's interesting. So yeah. once the DNA at the cellular level is compromised, then there could be breakdown anywhere. And we're all carrying viral codes from our exposure throughout our lives. And so Thunder God gives us this opportunity for the body to, for, uh, it gives us an opportunity to put something in that can go around and kind of break up those viral codes so that the body that can then remove them. Correct? Yeah. And just so we know this, this segment of the, of the presentation should be uh, three parts because Thunder God Vine doesn't actually cure or do anything. It shows right. the body just something that's already there. Right. Okay? And in a frank way, I'd like to say that that's why it's there and exists and not, say, prevented from being allowed because it doesn't really do anything except show what's already there. Cool. And, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. And the interesting part of that is that this is basically a three-level repair process because when you have cancer and you take chemotherapy, that's basically killing cancer through something called apoptosis, which basically stresses a cell and then through heat because it's radiation is heat. Um, and then the cell does a system check. If it fails the system check because it has viral code, it kills itself, okay? That's one way of cleaning viral code, okay? Cancer code and viral code, I'm, group, I'm grouping together for, the, for right now, okay? Um, but some cells don't allow apoptosis. Why? Because they're special. They hold memory, okay? Like neurons. Matter of fact, your nervous system is a column, like a tree, that doesn't allow anything but a few, very few T cells in because it doesn't want you to kill your brain. Okay. So the nervous system doesn't allow, I mean, the primary T cell in the nervous system is CD4 T. Okay. It can pass the blood brain barrier. Okay. Which a whole nother topic would be that Epstein Barr wipes that out by the time we age, which is why we really have no defense for as far as our minds as we age. Interesting. Okay? I know. I know. It's also the last thing that drops on an AIDS patient, okay? Okay, so um, that's a signaling between HIV positive and full-blown AIDS. Okay, but my point, back to my point, the, once the body can see that there's viral code, okay, the, vi the, the cell itself knows it's infected all of a sudden. So the cell could commit, if it's a simple cell, it can commit suicide, okay? If it's a complex cell like a neuron, it's got to be repaired. And that's a beautiful thing because the body has set up protocols for repairing of even its own DNA. And it happens trillions of times per second throughout our bodies. We don't even realize it, okay? So it can repair that DNA, okay? And that's a beautiful thing because now a person can repair its nervous system damage as well, okay? So, so or, or the third thing is it could actually attack and kill with a killer t-cell okay so there's three ways okay but then there's a back end way which is as the bad guys are dying there's morphic cells that pick up the bad guy's dna and feeds that back so it's a feedback loop it's circular that says hey if you see this again take it out it's a bad guy and wow. that's why and that's why the immune system i'm going to say almost i'm not going to say never but almost without man's manipulation wins because as it's winning, it's winning more, you know? So it doesn't win slow. It wins fast. So when you, when you get to the point where immune system, you know, <laughs> sees something and it starts building up cells, it's, it's building them up uh, rapidly. Okay. Cause as it's killing, it's also adding to the adding, adding soldiers because it's getting that information. So it's a loop. 
or your immune system, the stronger it gets, the stronger it gets. It's like Rocky Five times all the Rockies that were never even made yet because they're getting made as Rockies winning. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's amazing, Tim. I love your, um, your kind of graphic and really practical um, understanding of some really complex things that happen in the body. And I love hearing you share it. It's wonderful and really, really helps the rest of us sort of be able to picture what's going on in our bodies. And over, you know, many years of, of teaching different health practices, one of them is that we can envision what's happening. And so it's really nice to have those pictures. Um, I would like to say that I'm going to put a video link under this video um, when I post it on YouTube that um, ha has a really nice sort of um, computer graphic um, demonstration of how the RNA replicates the DNA and, and how it cleans up um, that viral code. But we won't go into that right this second. But um, but I will post yeah, it. Yeah, I like that. I, I do like that video. And yeah. when people look at that, they'll be kind of like, wow. Yeah, know, it uh, makes we, sense. We weren't, we, weren't, we weren't made in a mud puddle. I mean, there's a lot yeah, going right. on. There's a lot you going know? on. Yeah. So I, yeah. um, I, I'd like you to do your FDA disclaimer or whatever it is, you know, that says this is not. Well, okay, these are my, these are my theories. Okay? Yeah. This is not something, I'm, I'm not even a medical doctor. Okay. Um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a gentleman that. I, I, okay, uh, my background, but anyway, these statements have not been approved by the FDA and are not intended to, to diagnose, treat, prevent, or cure disease, okay? We're only here to tell people about an herb that's not been proven, but at least in me and a few other people uh, and in some research articles have, ha has shown some interesting attributes that have not existed in things that we uh, can consume naturally anyway, uh, to my knowledge, okay? So, you know, you have vitamin A, you have vitamin D, you have all your vitamins, basically, you know, nutrient, nutritional, okay? But there's really almost zero discussion about how we can actually have better code, okay? And the unfortunate part about it is that our code, in a way, is being more corrupted, and I don't want to get into like this anti-vax and anti blah, 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 you know conversation, but I just want to say that if you can clean code this way, and you're a computer, have we ever seen it work where we put more virus in a computer and it gets better? You know what I mean? So, you know, you know it's, it, it's, it's, can you hear me? I can hear you. I love it, Tim. You're, you're absolutely right. And, um, very important stuff. And yeah. I, I, I'd like to encourage, I've been taking Thunder God Vine, um, and we will put the links also under this video of where they can order, how they can get in touch with you, how they can get in touch with your websites, and where they can order. I know you're bringing a really high quality um, um, Thunder God Vine into the U.S., and um, I really, really love having that connection with you and being able to take this special Thunder God that you're bringing in with the knowledge that you have about it, which is so critically important. I know also you have had, you're a super intelligent guy anyway, and you have these amazing insights and just the amount of depth of research and study that you've done and your ability to articulate that is amazing. Uh, but I know you're also having some kind of awarenesses because as your body cleans out the sharpness of your mind has increased and your clarity and you're starting to see kind of how thunder god vine on a personal level but then how cleaning up our dna and cleaning up the field that we live in is also helping go out into a planetary and cosmic level and you know what you're getting into with sound and music and all that so do you want to share a little bit of that with us because you're sharing some so of that other yeah day. yeah i uh, i think it's very 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 um uh, important i have a little bit of feedback i don't know if that's because is that is that okay now i'm not hearing feedback on this end so hopefully okay okay um, okay. It, okay just went it just went away okay okay um so i noticed just the last two days of recording my last song when i closed my eyes uh, I could actually see the waveforms in 3D. 
And so I'm saying to my, wow. my friend, I'm, I'm saying, look, just move that note to the right. And he's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, just move it to the right. And I'm like, I'm thinking that he's thinking the same way I'm thinking. And I'm realized I'm not thinking the same way as I used to. I'm like, it's weird. I'm like, no, look, it goes right, left, right. And he's like, what are you talking about? I'm trying to tell him where to place these like little dings, you know? So, so now I start, you know, looking at your research. I'm, 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 I'm thinking, why is Terry researching this? You know? And then I'm, I'm still up in mind that I'm looking into what you're doing and stuff. And I'm interested. Uh, I'm trying to be interested, you know. Well, you're and talking then, about well, you. You're really. No, mentioned- I'm, to, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm talking about what you what you're what you're what you're doing. You're with, talking about the you know, plasma work. Yeah. 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 I, I'm gonna. I just want to be honest. In the beginning, I'm like, to me, I I was in a selfish way saying I wish Carrie would devote all of her time to what I'm focusing on and not focus on this plasma workshop, okay? That's honestly what I was thinking, okay? I, and then um, instead, what really happened was I, I got really into what you were doing, but without even speaking to you because I started looking into, and I started looking into what you were studying and relating it to what I was learning about. And basically, I'm almost going to say that not a unified theory, but a unified theory of life. Okay. And, uh, I want to thank you because, you know, you're, you're part of the ingredient that helped right. me see some of these things. Okay. Um, and so what happened was, um, I was doing re- research on uh, nuclear fusion. Okay. Yeah, and, that's amazing. And, and the byproducts of nuclear fusion are the ingredients that you're working with in your in your well. Workshop. And you mentioned to me the other day when you were explaining it to me, you mentioned um, hydrogen, carbon, uh, oxygen, tritium, which is one of the newer elements that we're actually using in the plasma work. And and this plasma work I'm involved with, Mr. Cash, is a nuclear engineer, and he began getting the awareness that the plasma work was the next level of our science so it's so cool okay. that you're tapping so, into it from this other direction right so i've not i've not attended any of the workshops but he, i i give you i'll give you this okay this is this is what i give you um basically the planet okay is a birth canal okay when you have heavy water it has a proton and a neutron at the nucleus, meaning it's balanced and heavier, okay? Every human being has 5% of this type of water in their body, okay? It also has, this type of water has uh, a type of tritium, okay? Um, Tridolium, I I can't pronounce it, okay? But if you take, if you take, a, wa- a dodecahedron waveform, okay, which would be basically um, multiple waveforms that you're trying to create with, with, with your technology, okay, and you do this in a vacuum, which happens all over outer space because there, the, the byproduct of, of cold fusion is tritium. There's high deposits of tritium, copper, and helium, okay? So we know that our, our planet has high helium deposits coming out in Africa. So we know our, cop, our, our planet is producing, producing uh, uh, nuclear fusion, okay? I mean, not, um, cold fusion. So what I believe is happening at the center of the earth, you have pressures in equal, in, in equal, distance, uh, equal pressures creating the equivalency of um, basically a vacuum, okay? In other words, equal pressure, okay? But, but not a vacuum, but better because equal pressure around um, heavy water, okay, which has, which um, is the only element that affects the biological clock of all living things. And that makes complete sense to me because... And where does that heavy water come from, Tim? Heavy water happens at, 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 at depths. It also can be created, it's also used in nuclear reactors to shield from excess, from, from radiation, okay? But the amount of heavy water 
in a physical being changes their biological clock. And that is really interesting to me because that would mean that the percentage of heavy water at the point where nuclear fusion took place at the same time that you had the waveform form, which is no decahedron, it's the waveform of a DNA, of DNA, okay? Then you would have basically a life form DNA that was set to the biological clock, the 24 hour clock of that planet, because it would go by the planet's, the planet's density. Because, by, because, because, in other words, the larger the planet, the heavier the water. So that would also affect the, how the DNA was structured. Okay. So, um, and the biological clock. Now, I'm just basically. Because I believe we're affecting the biological clock with plasma water. So I'm thinking plasma water probably has some of these elements um, that you're talking about. Well, what's happening as far as, you know, um, the hmm of the, of the universe, okay, that at the center of our Earth, you have cold fusion, which basically breaks atoms apart into different, different, different uh, elements while there's cold water and all these pressures equally pushing in one spot. So that would just tell you uh, that that is um, going to create um, the D it, it's got to create the DNA, the DNA spiral. And then you connect that to the, to, to the sequence of the Van Allen belts, which are that's going around amazing. the earth. Okay. Now you know that that's going to be sequence. Now you know that that sequence is going to be happening continuously, basically creating the, the beginnings of a DNA segment. Now you say, okay, well, if I can create, create one little DNA segment, how does that connect, you know, to a, a, a more complex being? Let's find examples of that. Look at a glass sponge. It takes junk DNA from anything and puts it into its body and it constructs it and it never dies. It just keeps using junk DNA. So DNA to the universe is like Legos to a child. Okay. I don't understand oh, how it puts a, I, don't, I, I don't understand how the universe does this. Okay. But it does. Okay. And for the universe, it's very simple. We just don't understand. Okay. So, but it just, it's going to be that way. I'm saying to you, and they've also proven that the Van Allen belts break loose and go to other solar systems and other, other universes. So that means wow. our DNA of our biosphere tra is, can travel. Okay. It is in a, in a, in a, radiation belt which is a sound wave right so right also it's interesting because we talk about these mass extinctions and we talk about the planet you know core shifting and going the other direction right they say that this is going to happen so that would also mean that the crust has to shift with it right which would explain a lot but it would also say that when it shifts that we would be susceptible to viruses and DNA slash Van Allen information coming from spheres that were going in that direction. Wow. You see, which also could explain mass extinction. You see? So it's got to be that way. Sam, that's great. Yeah. You know what? We're going to have to bring this. I mean, this I mean it's, 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 it's my theory, though. I got to just say, I don't want to say it's got to be that way. I just, that's great. You know, I just, I just. Uh, I'd like to share it with some of my plasma friends. I think they would appreciate it. So, okay. um, yeah, sure. I think we're going to need to bring this wonderful conversation to an end um, based on our time. But I want to thank you so much for spending time with us today. And um, to for our listeners to rest assured that we will put a number of links under this video where it is on YouTube. Um, my website is 21stCenturySuperhuman.com, which is 21stCenturySuperhuman.com. Tim, one of your, your websites I know is FlawlessHerbs.com. Is that right? Yeah, yes. FlawlessHerbs.com. Well, flawless and um, we're going to add th this this product to it uh, either today or tomorrow. So we'll have Thunder uh, God. We already have Thunder God in powder packets, but on that website, we'll, yeah. But we're yeah. now going to have capsules, which I think is yeah. very, very exciting. I know I've had friends asking me for that, so um, it's really a timely thing, and I'm so glad that you've put that together. Can't wait to hear the sounds from your band. Okay, yeah, and if you go there, then there's going to be links back to the other website right. and to the book on my personal journey, you know, Great. I think 
And that's yeah, thundergodband.com. It covers, covers this a little bit more thoroughly, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so cool. I'm gonna put a link to the book there too. Great. Uh, so which, I'm and sure everything's free. Everything's free. So I mean, the product itself's not free, but right. uh, we have to for that. So I mean, well, I um, want to know: Can we get T-shirts? You know, I'll put them up. I'll put them up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's I can really do that. cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So Thunder God, Thunder God Band. So. Yay! Um, you have a Thunder God. I think I didn't realize that this is actually so interesting. The nervous system, right? So, it's awesome. It's really yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I mean, and it was a great map to do your explanation on as well. Yeah. So, so uh, I mean, yeah. So um, there's there's more uh, that, uh, yeah, but it's not, but it's off topic. So. I think we covered all the bases. Yeah, um, I think we're good for know, now. Yeah, I think based yeah. on the time, we've got to go. But you can go ahead sure. and hold that bottle up a second if you want. Of okay. The yeah, again. and and just on that last thing we were talking about, I mean, some people might not know that water itself has memory. And right. so, you know, when you hold the waveform in that environment, like uh, the water actually rem remembers it. So that's why you can form, a, a you know, a DNA strand through sound in that environment. Beautiful. Um, this, this, uh, this is what we're talking about as far as cleaning up the DNA. And if you're interested in knowing what it feels like to feel like you are supposed to feel as far as your designer, okay, then clean your DNA, okay? And yes. it takes a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of work, okay? You got to actually maintain a really low sugar diet because virus loves sugar, right? Um, and you got to do all those things as well. Uh, but... Uh, it's a journey that I would never, uh, um, I mean, I, in a positive way, I say I'm just thankful for being injured because I'm happy where this journey has led me because it's kind of like a yellow brick road of, you know, just all these things I've learned. That's awesome, Tim. Yeah. Yeah. And you look great. I've known you oh, about nice. a year, I think, and um, you seem to be getting younger and younger all the time. You're lean. I feel good. that way. I feel yeah, that you way. Look you look great. Yeah, so. I feel that way. Yeah, I feel, right. I feel strong, you know, physically. But uh, mentally, I mean, it's all, it's all the nervous system drives the whole, right. you know, whole world, right? I'm sure we'll do updates. Um, we have fun doing videos together, so I'm sure we'll do yeah, you're the best in yeah, coming definitely. days. So many blessings, my brother. And I want to remind everybody, Much, breathe, sir. Thank you. smile, take care of yourself, love yourself, be a moving part in positive change on planet Earth. And much love to just, all. Just be, right? That's right. Okay. Adios. Ciao. See you, later. See you soon. Okay. Bye.